Hey everybody, welcome to Board Game Heaven Talks Accessories. My name is Raymond and in this video I'll be taking a look at the E-Raptor insert for Ticket to Ride. I've got the Ticket to Ride Europe edition, which is more or less the same component wise. So we'll see how all of that fits into this insert. And I'd like to thank eRaptor for sending over this insert to review. And I'd also like to take a minute and thank all my patron saints, people who support me on Patreon. And uh, if you also want to support my channel, check out the Patreon logo at the end of this video or the link in the description below. And there you will be able to see how you can support my channel. You'll get your name in the credits and access to some Patreon exclusive posts as well. So let me just open up the box, put everything together, then put everything in the box and I'll give you my final thoughts. Ticket to ride insert by eRaptor as always comes in a plain brown box. So let's open that up. All right, so let's see. It only has, oh, there we go, it's double-sided. Yes, we have some card holders here as well. All right, so let's start with these card trays. And I need that sheet. So let's see which one that is. That's this one, I believe. And I'll just put these to the side for now. All right. No glue required. So let me just push these out. So this is number nine, that's the bottom. There you go, that's that. Then we need number 10, which is this one. Let's take a look. This goes here. And as always, these are asymmetrical, so you can only fix them in one way unless you make the whole thing <laughs> mirror image. Well, let's just stick with the instructions. So nine goes first, then 10, 11. So 11 was these because they have the clips to hold this in place. So I'm guessing I have to click these in first. So let's do that first then. And then, wait. Oh yes, uh, right, so these slide in here before I click them. Is that correct? Yes, before I click them onto the bottom. And I actually think that this goes on first as well because I click this into the back and then I have these bottom ones that all click into the bottom. So let me align those. I'll just hold this with one hand so I can keep everything together and with the other hand, I'll just click it together. So now I have this assembly with these pegs that go in here. So you just put it on top, align everything correctly click that in place and there you go so interesting so these are basically ramps to lift up the cars a bit I guess they could have I think just made the entire bottom sloped but uh, yeah I mean I guess so that's the card tray I need the bottom of this next. So there are five of these trays which hold all of the players' bits, the trains and all the colors. And there are card holders as well. So let's start with that. So the one, two and three, that's a bigger one. That's, I believe this sheet, yes, that's that sheet. So this is three, all of those are three, but uh, this is obviously a larger card holder. 
So I'll take that one out first and then these two belong to that. And this is all the smaller ones. All right, I'll just press these out. And I have to be careful with these because they are very thin, thin pieces. So make sure to press near the spots where it's connected to the board. So yeah, that takes a little bit of finesse. <laughs> and then when you take this piece and this piece, you put these in first, like so. And these go in later or afterwards, it doesn't really matter as long as you carefully click this in place. So uh, this, yeah, this is a bit thin. Be careful while assembling. I think I'll do this first because then I can grab it easier. Before I stick it into the back. And there you go. So that fits and then that will simply go in there. That's a lot easier. Click. There you go. So now you have a card holder and this will sit like that, and you can stick your cards in here. So that's very convenient. And there's four more like that, or actually five more, because this is one as well. And then you have the tray. So let me build a tray as well. I'll just put this one, come on. And I'll take out one of these. that and one of these lids. So are they all the same? Yes, five different lids. These have a protective foil on them, so you need to uh, peel that off first. You really just take one of the corners and just start peeling. And the white side usually comes off relatively easily. The other side also has a foil, which is a bit harder to catch. But if you don't manage to do that easily, you can use a little blade. So what I usually do is just take the tip of the knife, always point it away from yourself. Just pu push it along one of the sides and it will catch onto the plastic and then it will come off quite easily. All right, this still has a couple of bits of wood, so we just press those out. There you go. All right. Okay. So let's take a look. The divider, of course, goes in here, like so. Then you have the smaller sides, so those click in here. So just push them on top. Just put that down for a second. These just click in place, and they have these catches here on the bottom because these ones go on top, just like this one. And so you put those in first. And now let's see. So where does the acrylic goes, so this slides in like this, right? So like that. So that means that this little nub here is to keep this in place. So that goes in the front this way around because there's the divider. And that means that this one goes in the back. There's only really one way to put these things together oh, and make sure you align them so all the uh, hooks here catch in and then click it in place and it will already hold everything in place and then this one goes here like that click and there's your box so you can put your pieces in here and then just slide this on top and that will go into that catch over there and this will keep that in place as you can see 
So all your tokens will sit in here safely, no, ma no matter how you store your box horizontally or vertically, or you know transport the box. And then you just lift it up and pull it out. It's easy as that. So this is the only important thing to push them underneath and then click. All right, so that's five of these. We have those, we have these. I'll just put everything together and then put everything in the box. See you soon. Okay, so I've put everything together. I put all the components inside. So uh, you have this tray for the cards, which has all of the different wagon cards and you shuffle those. And then you take one of these uh, card holders and you put out a number of, I think you put out five cards. So you need to get the big one, the smaller ones are for the players. And you can easily put up all of the cards. I think it's four, I don't quite remember, four or five. So you can put them on that card holder, as you can see, and then put that somewhere on the table where everyone can see. If you want to use it, you can also put them flat on the table, of course, if people are sitting across from you and you can just use one of these card holders yourself. But uh, that works, so you can take all of those and you uh, put those cards in here and discarded cards can go in the middle slot if you want to. So uh, you can put those there and I've put the ticket cards in here. So you just put that in your box and I've also got the ticket to ride the Netherlands expansion so if you want you can also store all of those cards these are extra tickets and uh, bonus cards so uh, depending on what map you're playing you'd simply leave one out or you just put them all there and discard somewhere else whatever you want and then you have these five uh, trays with all of the um, the wagons, the three stations and your scoring tracker, the wooden disc right there. So all of that fits in here. So this is actually made with the divider with uh, Ticket to Ride Europe in mind. So that's pretty cool. One of them fits nicely next to the card tray and the other ones you simply put next to each other in front of the card tray like so. So you have those four. Then the big card holder fits nicely between that spot there, keeping everything from sliding. So you put those there and then you have the five player card holders and those go in here. So I have to do this a little bit differently to put it like that. And then this will simply all go in here. Just have to wiggle them in a bit like so. There you go. So all of that fits inside. So since uh, I also have some spare uh, wagons, I put those in the Ziploc bag. These other ones you simply don't use. So I just put that on top somewhere. And Ticket to Ride the Netherlands does have all of these tokens. So I put those in a Ziploc bag and just put those on top of that. So there's not something, there's no insert for those because this insert was obviously not made with expansions in mind. There are so many expansions, so depending on what you get. But I happen to have the Netherlands and that does fit. So if you have one of those smaller expansions with similar components, then you might be able to store that inside of that uh, organizer as well. So then the board simply goes on top. And as you can see, that sits very nicely flush. That will not raise the lid. And then, of course, the, uh, the uh, rule book. So if you do want to store an additional one in there, then the lid will be raised by the thickness of the board. So this is uh, Ticket to Ride the Netherlands. And you can also put that on top with the rule book. At least that will save you uh, the thickness of the entire box. And then that will just go on top so yeah this does raise the lid but that's simply because of the uh the dutch the netherlands uh board so that's only this much is about uh well what is that 12 millimeters which is of course a lot better than th these uh four centimeters that this box is i guess so um yeah so you can 
fit all of that inside. But technically it's made for just one core box, but yeah, I like to put everything into one uh, organizer, into one box, and that does work, even though it lifts the lid just a little. Let's go to my final thoughts. So my final thoughts on the E-Raptor insert for Ticket to Ride or Ticket to Ride Europe. Well, I have to say it was very quick, fun and easy to put together like all of their inserts. It's very practical that you have these little boxes for everyone with their own lid that holds all of your trains and your stations and your scoring marker in your own color. So you can just take that out of the box, hand that to each of the players and boom, you're ready to go. You also hand each player one of these card holders should they want one. So you can put either your uh, objectives, your uh, ticket cards, on there and it holds three easily although it does hold them vertically so i mean personally this would have been more uh, intuitive for me because you see the map uh, on its right in its right angle and if you put it like that on the side you know that's perhaps not as convenient but you could also just keep those in your hand or flat on the table and just peek at them whenever you need to and put your train cards on that if you even need it maybe you just you're fine with holding all of those in your hand and putting these flat on the table just like any ordinary game of ticket to ride and perhaps someone else at the table could use yours and then have two of these and then put all their cards in there maybe you're playing with children you know who have smaller hands and they just need to take all of those cards into their hand and they just prefer putting it on these stands that works as well i think it's brilliant that they are included they didn't need to but they figured well we got these little trays for all the tokens and there's still plenty of room in here we've got a, a card holder that holds three stacks of cards and you only really need two so you can use a second one to uh, discard your uh, your train cards if you want to and you can use the big one to put these on or not if you just want to put them on the table personally i prefer putting them on the, on the table because if there's people sitting across the table then this is really handy because there's always someone who will be looking at this from the back so um, this is really great for for players who just don't want to hold these in their hands and uh, or can't and that is really convenient. I, I like that they just use that extra space to just throw in something extra. And that's really nice. And it's really quick to set up. You just take out the trays, hand them to the players, put the card tray in the middle of the table. Plus, like I said, it does have a bit of extra room if you want to add one expansion. Now, of course, the board will lift a little bit. So um, the original game board will fit in here and everything will be flush. So that's perfect. But if you want to add an expansion or perhaps two expansions, you might be able to fit all the, the extra stuff in here easily. It's just the boards that will lift your lid up a bit. But, you know, I don't mind that too much. I'd rather have a couple of centimeters extra in my core box than to have multiple of these boxes sitting on my shelf. It's all a matter of saving space. So yeah, uh, that was that basically, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. It's straightforward and simple and fun to put together. So that's the insert for Ticket to Ride by E-Raptor, giving it a two thumbs up. So thanks uh, for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did also, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and perhaps also consider becoming a patron saint to my channel by clicking the uh, link in the description below to my Patreon page or the symbol of the Patreon logo at the end of this video. And that will take you there. You can check out the tiers that you can pledge for. You'll get your name in the credits and you can also have access to some uh, Patreon exclusive posts that I've made and will be making. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.